Welcome to Exasperate Nerd Explains. I watched the first episode of The Mandalorian on Disney Plus and I really enjoyed it. It feels part western with a nice Star Wars spin. I like how the world felt lived in. The stormtrooper armor looks old and like it needs a good buffing. I'm not sure how they actually clean those. The main character is kept mysterious, but you're given glimpses of his backstory and motivation to pique interest in the character. The action is great with good battle scenes. Seeing an IG droid action was really fun. I also thought the humor worked and was genuinely funny throughout the episode. It was memorable and something different from other Star Wars series and films. And they showed a toilet for the first time in Star Wars, so they are breaking new ground. Look at that space toilet. It's like a toilet, but in space. This is going to be spoilery for the episode, so go watch it first if you don't want some of the details. The rest of this are criticisms of the show, and some are canon related and others I have are honestly nitpicky, but regardless, I definitely recommend Mandalorian and look forward to the rest of the season more than the next movie. On to a few minor gripes. The effects were good, and there were a lot of practical effects, but one shot kind of stuck out as needing a bit more work. This speed or approaching just looks too bright and doesn't quite match the lighting. The scene is there for some humor and showing the main character's disdain for droids, but I almost wish they wouldn't have had it in with the effect looking like that. It just sticks out too much to me. I know this is picky. I like the eyeglass thing as it fits the aesthetic and recalls old westerns, but still upgrading it to some space tech that doesn't feel too antiquated. And okay, I get the helmet is awkward, but where is your eyeball? How are you seeing out of that thing? What's going on here? Is this really the best take? <laughs> I don't like the carbon freezing. I actually brought this up when I talked about the initial trailer. I acknowledge that it is a convenient system for hauling back multiple bounties, and this is some time after the events of Empire Strikes Back, but it does seem coincidental that something during the Empire that had never been done before is now used in a small contained area by this Mandalorian bounty hunter as the status quo. Plus, he isn't immersed the same way Solo was, but he gets the exact same result. The Ichuta line kind of threw me out of the scene at the beginning of the episode. Once again, from Empire, a protocol droid says to C-3PO, Hey Ichuta, how rude. So, Ichuta means something rude. But here, the character says, Ichuta, mando. So, Ichuta means hey, which I guess to a protocol droid, hey could be considered rude instead of hello or Hello, I am C-3PO human cyborg relations. So maybe that's C-3PO being a melting snowflake. I just always assumed it was something worse than Hey. How rude. I fully admit I could be wrong here. There may be an actual translation from the movie somewhere that says what it means but I've never seen it or I don't remember it. The line just felt unnecessary. Like they said it just to say it and be like, eh? Ichuta, remember? Pepperidge Farm remembers. That mentality is one of the weaker points of franchise properties in general and a pitfall I hope they avoid in future episodes. Like I said though, a very minor thing, but something that just got me thinking. And finally, the middle-aged Baby Yoda. The big reveal at the end is that the 50-year-old our hero is hired to find is actually a baby of the same species as Yoda. As the IG droid says, species age differently. This is wild. This thing looks like it's one-year-old, maybe? Maybe their life cycle speeds up at some point, but let's put this in context with human life. For the sake of easy math for everyone, the average human lives to be 90. So being one-year-old is 1 90th of your life, or 1.11%. Yoda dies at 900 or so, so let's say that's average for his species. 50 years is 1 18th of his life, or 5.55%. If that trend continues, where aging in Yoda years, trademark, is 1 human year for every 50 years of life, that means Yoda dies as an 18 year old. So he's on the JAG Council as some sort of punk teenager. That's just crazy, what the heck is going on there? I get it being an unexpected twist, but yikes, this raises so many questions. Anyway, that's my review of the first episode of Mandalorian. I hope you enjoyed it. Please check out my other videos, more and more of them seem to be about Star Wars lately, so if you're into that, you might find something you like. Thanks for watching, bye.